If our eyes worked at a different wavelength, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. Objects interact with the particle wave duality of light, continuously forming new electromagnetic waves. In a new theory, this universal and continuous process forms the time continuum or arrow of time itself. Therefore, the uncertainty and probability of everyday life is the same uncertainty we have in quantum physics. The atoms bond together and then collapse the wave particle duality of light in unison, forming the uncertainty of their own potential, future position and momentum relative to their energy or mass. The forward momentum of light is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. Therefore the observer will collapse the wave function creating his or her own independent reality of time and space. This theory is based on two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function explained by Stroessner's wave equation represents the forward passage of time or arrow of time itself photon by photon or moment by moment. The second postulate is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the wave function is the same uncertainty that we have with any future event. Modern physics has no understanding of why we have an arrow of time or a future and a past, but time in this theory is a continuous process forming the future geometry of space-time. Time is a hidden variable of quantum mechanics. In quantum atom theory, the atoms interact with light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously collapsing the quantum wave particle function, forming photons that form electrical charge and in turn form electrical magnetic fields in three dimensions. This forms a local space-time geometry. A time-varying electric field acts as a source of a magnetic field and a time-varying magnetic field are the source of electric fields. When either field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the objects creating the time variation, the atoms themselves. If the laws of physics are universal, then this process, formed by the wave particle duality of light, must be happening everywhere and must affect everything, even consciousness itself. Despite rapid progress, much about how the brain works remains a mystery, but what we do know is that our brains work by electrical impulses forming chemical changes. This electrical activity also forms electromagnetic fields. If these electrical impulses that cause chemical changes are formed by photons, then consciousness is formed by the physics of quantum mechanics. Therefore our thought processes could be seen as the most advanced part of a universal process. I hope to base this theory on pure mathematics and therefore pure physics. I believe this can be done in just three dimensions and one variable time. Each photon-electron coupling represents zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future and the negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. This theory gives us an intuitive picture, capturing the existence of an underlying layer of reality. That gives us an objective reality to quantum mechanics as a process of continuous symmetry forming and breaking, a process of continuous creation.